So now we're going to use your photographs that you've submitted. Sellotape tape it to the paper. Keep it in position. And then there's a bit of tape left over. You can tape it to the actual table like that. Right, and now we're going to look for every significant line and shape. Okay, so I'm going to just do a small section here to demonstrate. Okay, so there's these yellow sections on their own. Another one sort of comes along here. There's a big white bit. Now my pen stopped producing ink, so I can't tell where I've been. So I'm gonna use a pencil instead. Okay, so I'll go over there, go around this white shine. Very important to keep these reflections in. Oh my god, I'll separate all these tiny details. On the side of the bottle. Now I've I just I'm resting down on the paper and I shouldn't have been doing that. Don't let anything other than the the tip that you want to make the mark touch the paper. If I rest my hand on there I'm gonna end up with a hand print. So I'll try I can touch the edges where it's white. Okay and I'll go up here. Keep as much detail as you can in it. So I've just done that section. I could go on, I could do the whole thing, but I could do a little bit more. Let's, let's keep going. This is one of the more complex ones, but you have got the whole rest of the lesson to do this. It's got to be as precise as you can. I've just went off line a little bit there. But like I say, it's hard to suspend the pencil when you can't rest your hand on the paper. Okay. Tempted to do the whole lot, but I'd, <laughs> we'll just show this bit for now. So let's see the moment of truth. Okay. You see, so I've got that section of the bottle there now. You can also see the imprint on the table. Sometimes I like to take a picture of my progress. Take a picture of that bit there <clears throat> on here. You can see these little blobs here is where I've accidentally rested my hand on the paper. Um, what I will do is I'll go back on now. I've done some line marking. But just say there was a section that I wanted to do. Use a softer end for. So I'll use my fingertip. And then orange bits. I think I'll just fill those in with my finger. And I would do the stalk. Or the stem I think run down that with an implement like this okay let's see what's happened there okay so it's colored in that orange area a little bit and the pressure from that wooden stick has meant that that stems filled in so experiment with different tools at your disposal at your disposal <clears throat> and we can start to create your piece okay let's go To wash up, you need a really wet tissue, so it comes off really easily with water. So once you've diluted the ink like this, make the most out of your tissue. So you're trying to save the planet, avoid cutting down more trees than we have to. So even though it is messy, see that's cleaned up really well. <clears throat> and then I just dry it just to polish off the table. No one would even know we had been here okay make sure you wash, wash the rollers as well okay au revoir